What's up guys, it's Tater here, and we are back with a very first franchise mode on NHL 21. And of course, we're picking my team, New Jersey Devils. I'm not a complete franchise, like, player. I play it here and there, and like, I'm not hardcore into it. But I want to give it a shot on 21. And I figured, why not do it with my favorite team, the New Jersey Devils. And as you guys can see by the thumbnail and the title... We're going to try and resurrect the Devils franchise. They made it to the finals this last decade. But other than that, they haven't really been that great. Like, they've made the playoffs a couple of times. We're just we're in that awkward rebuilding stage. But with the pieces that we have right now and coming up in the system, we're not that far off. But obviously, with NHL 21, I don't know exactly how those prospects will develop for us. Or, like, how, like, Jack Hughes, for example. He, there's a good chance he has a good career ahead of him. His rookie season was not very good, but, like, in NHL 20, he was phenomenal from what I've seen. Don't know how he is in 21. But quickly, we're just going to go ahead and look at our uh, lineups and see what we got from here. And uh, our head coach. Okay. So right now we got Hughes, Hitcher, or Yusef, Hitcher, Palmieri, Johnson, Hughes, Brad, Wood, Saka, Zajac, Sini, Bacchus, McLeod. So honestly, I kind of like that setup. I just, McLeod, I've got to get someone to replace that. And Zaka, 77 face-off, Zajac gets 94, so we'll just bump those over. Defensively, Murray, Subban, Butcher, Severson. It's just kind of weird, though, like, Murray and Subban have plus one, Butcher and Severson have zero, but you move them up to the first and second line like that, they both get a plus one. So I guess they're more comfortable playing first pairing than they are in second pairing with the coach's scheme and all that. But I would like to get at least one more defenseman for now, just so that Tennyson's not on the roster. He could be, like, our seventh defenseman. He's only 700k, two-way, whatever. He has to go through waivers still, but he can be our number seven defenseman, ironically. His jersey number in the game is number seven. And then we go to goalies. Now, here's the thing. I like Mackenzie Blackwood. Crawford's a fantastic goalie at 86 overall in the game. So, I mean, we have that. But Mackenzie Blackwood, I bumped his potential to high starter. I think he was low or medium starter, so I just bumped him up to high starter. I think he could be phenomenal in the few years to come. And let's quickly look at our contracts, actually. Oh, what am I doing here? Contracts. And we want to check in the system. Holtz, so we're going to give you a contract right now. Cause... And with Holtz, uh, let's see here. They listed him as a two-way forward, so I just made him a sniper. Like, look at that shooting category, and he's a 77 overall. He had, in the draft, he had the highest rated shot in the game. Or, not the game, sorry, the draft for the first round, at least. Like, the most sought-after shot. So, he's an elite medium potential. That's cool. But we got Ty Smith, who I put top 4D high instead of top 4D medium. he just been killing in the CHL, and I think the top 4 high is adequate for him. Then we got Ball, top 4, low, whatever. I wanted to check out Mercer real quick. Where are you? You're way down here. I see. So he's got top nine for medium. Yeah, whatever. We'll give you a contract. So I'm really curious to see how someone like Dawson Mercer and Nolan Foote will develop in this game. Because like he's a top six medium. But he's only 64 overall. At, oh, age 19. So I don't know exactly how far we're going to go into this episode. Right now it's just uh, getting used to what our 
roster, and that is looking like I, I'm using the current up, roster update that came out the other day. That's why I was waiting for that to start this franchise mode. But I did add uh, Joe Thornton to Toronto, and there's a couple other players I did, but I didn't want to do all of them because it just was going to take me forever. And Jumbo Joe's the big notable signing since the roster or whatever, so we're, we did that. And we're just going to take a look at free agents. We need one forward for hopefully the fourth line and then a defenseman. So we don't want to play a uh, RFA. So we're just going to look at the phase here. We'll go forwards real quick. So we got Hoffman. Where is he supposed to fit in on our... So I've heard there's uh, issues with the scouts and that they're not always accurate and they don't automatically scout like they used to. I think it's just a bug right now. But someone here that is interesting is Cahoon. He's 22 overall, 25 years old. Not terrible. And he only wants 1.375 for one one year. Two years he wants two mil. Let's go two years. Two point one five mil. Yeah, we'll go two point one five for two years off of that. Don't know if he's gonna accept. Let's try and get someone else for cheap for our uh, third or fourth line. Yeah, I really, I, I don't know. Hopefully, Cahoon sounds. I don't really see much out there for forwards that we can get. Obviously, we could go out and we could get or, uh, Dustin Buffalo and Zidane Ochara and just bolster our defense. But we're not at that stage where adding someone like Buffalo would help. Sure, we could get him for 2.8 and then flip him. But that's. Like, it's not going to. I'm not going to be super, super realistic with this. But at the start, that just doesn't make sense for me. Obviously, I'll try and keep it realistic-ish. But not every single move is going to be completely real realistic. Uh, see, Ben Hyder, he only wants just under a mil. Where does he fit? All defensive points. Um, but we'll, we'll offer Ben Hyder the contract. We'll give him... 1.1 for one year. We got the extra cap, so we might as well just offer guys what we can to get them on the team for now. And then Nelson Bowie will actually sign him too. Uh, he'll be a UFA after next after the season, so we'll give him yeah, for one year two way. Um, just gonna quickly. Scout or assign our scouts, and then we'll do a quick sim of the preseason and then we'll go from there. So, we've sent off our scouts, so let's quickly sim this first preseason game. We win eight to three. Wow, I mean, it's preseason, so it is to take it with a grain of salt. So, Madison Bowie signs. Dominic Cahoon signs with us. Ben Hagen signs with us. Whoa. P.K. Subban for back in nine in a fourth and a fifth. I mean, we're not in cap troubles, but someone wants to take that contract away from us. So he's a 2017 first rounder, 18 overall, top 4D medium. It's some top four defense apparently in all play lines. I don't know. I don't think we need to trade Subban right now, especially in preseason. Then a five nothing win there for us. Oh my. So we'll just quickly go roster mode first to bring up those guys. So Cahoon, Benin, Benin, Ben Hutton, Bowie, go up. Uh, oh, 
wrong wrong category. McCloud, you'll go down. Bad defenseman. We'll see. We'll go like that. Cool. Go to edit lines. Let's just see what their the best lines give us. So puts Hughes to the third line. He's labeled as a third scoring line for me. I don't know how I feel about him on the third line, honestly. Good. Let's just try some combos here. All right, so we found some line combinations that we're going to rock with for now. Each line has at least a plus one. So it's Jack Hughes, Hischer, Palmieri, Gusev, Cahoon, Johnson, Bogfuss, Sajak, Brat, Sini, Zaka, Wood. And on defense, we're running Butcher, Severson, Murray, Subban, Hudden, and Bowie. But in goals, we got Crawford and Blackwood. Good to see how they do. Like, getting Crawford is huge, but I kind of would rather Blackwood get more games to get that experience and progress, hopefully. But it's what it is. It's not something we can really deal with right now. See what this team can do for the first little bit. Obviously, we're still in preseason, so we will simulate the rest of this preseason real quick here. I can't wait for next gen because these menus will be so much faster. So we got third and the fifth for Dehan. Oh, we're gonna decline that. Win, four one win, two one loss. Another four one win. Interesting. I mean, I'm not reading anything into it. It's preseason, not everyone's playing like the Zajax are top point score. Like what? Yeah, I'll find players on wa waivers. So I'll just take a quick little peek at these preseason stats. They don't mean a whole lot, but yeah, like Miles Wood, 7.7 7 games on what? The fourth line? But then you got guys like fucking Hughes, only four points, which is terrible, but like, I don't know. It is what it is. It's preseason. It doesn't mean too much. Blackwood's in their only loss, but like a 95-1 save percentage. So, it is. It's preseason. Now uh, we'll get the regular season underway here. I've already told this. So, alright. Send to next game. So let's just go calendar view here. We'll sim about a month go from there. So I, I won't I won't be mad if we don't make playoffs and get like a top ten pick again. I mean, it would suck to make the playoffs, get eliminated first round, when we're, that draft pick could help us. But obviously, simulation engine, we don't know what it's going to do or how it's going to play. Like, we're 5-3 and three right now in the first month. So, we got our first injury. P.K. Subban, injured, strained hamstring, November 6. And I cannot see... I think that's only about a week. So we'll edit lines manually. So we're just gonna throw Carrick for Subban. It's probably not the wisest part here to do, but I think it's only a week that we're gonna miss Subban, so full games. And right now, Gusev is leading the team with nine assists in nine games. And I think he's also plus nine. 
Yeah, he's a plus nine. Paul Mary's four goals, four assists. Ooh, Calhoun, seven points in nine games. So, first nine games, not terrible. Pretty good for some players. Crawford's played all of them, basically. Looks like Blackwood came in for relief for... Or he got pulled. But we will throw Blackwood in that for about a week or two. So we're just going to get Blackwood the net for this week. See what he can do if he does very well. See, that was like, like one. We will throw Subban in instead of Carrick. Back on the simulation. Hunt six, nope, not interested. So Blackwood went three and one, assuming he got all those games. So I'll give him another week. Why not? Give him those reps, extra shots, let him progress. Shootout lost one nothing. Wow. Grabner and a six for a fourth. I don't really care to add someone else. Yeah, I'm not taking your cap. So, we'll go throw Crawford back in real quick. So, we're just going to go ahead and sim up to December 1st in the game. And then we'll call that it for an episode. Uh, head coach, replace players, AHL, it's whatever. So, yeah, let's see. Like, injuries, I find that there's a lot of injuries in these games. But... A lot of them are short-term injuries, especially with the playable injuries before they're fully healed. Like, they can play before they're completely healed. And that is a massive win, 7-3 to three against the Islanders. Subban and a 4 for 2 seconds. What is Subban doing right now? I know he was injured for like a game or two, but... Stats-wise, three goals, ten ass or seven assists for ten points in twenty-one games. Like we're not in a cap, like cap trouble. So we'll keep them. Uh, Zach McEwen waivers from the Ducks. I don't think we'll claim them, but let's just take a look at his stats and where he fits. Forward line one. Yeah, I'm sorry, Big Zach. We're not claiming you. Uh, draft rankings. Let's quickly view the draft class. I remember seeing something from our scout that the draft is not uh, not very strong. But if we quickly see. Like I'm completely clueless to a bunch of these names. Like I know Raddy's supposed to be the first overall, but it is. We'll see what happens come draft and trade deadline. So Boston really wants Subban. Hey, you guys really want him. Give me a first and something else and you can have him. The Filpula in the third is one year left. Like, we're not... I don't need to add a veteran player. I, I kind of like how our roster is at this point. Obviously, if injuries happen or if we're doing this well or better at the draft or the trade deadline, maybe we can add a player if the cost is, like, not expensive. Uh, third and fourth for third, six and Sorensen. I, I like how our roster is shaping up, like I said already. So, the last game of the Sim, as I say that, Miles Wood is injured. Estimated return January 6th. So, that's a long term injury. Let's see. We got anyone scratched? We got defensemen. All right, we got to call up a forward. 
So we've called up uh, Nick Merkley. I'm just going to keep him on the roster, honestly. He can be our 13th forward in case of injuries. And he's cheap. He's 865.865 million. So it's not going to hurt us. Not like we're in cap. Baby Devils, best lines there. Holtz. Let's quickly see. Is Nolan Foot not even playing? Let's see. Just gonna have to sit out for Nolan Foot. Chris Connor, you're 37. Take out our best forward, but no one foot. Sure. And it's a plus three, so whatever that works. Foot and Holtz. See if you guys can do some work for us. So our last game of the simulation for this episode, we lose 4-3 in a shootout to Vancouver Canucks. Let's take a look at our stats. Wow, Gusev's got 39 points in 38 games. That's pretty pretty solid for us. The only unfortunate thing is that you'll probably want a heavy cap. Cahoon second points with 17 goals and assists. Andreas Janssen, 33. Fisher, 28. Palmieri, 26. Hughes, 24. Brat, 22. And Butcher and Subban lead our way in defensive work. Let's take a look at goalies. So Blackwood won 5 and 2 with a 9 2 1 save percentage of 2.6 goals against the average. And Crawford 17 11 and 3 with 4 shutouts, a 9 11, and a 301 goals against the average. I mean, can't complain about either of those. Maybe Blackwood should get some more games. Let me know in the comments if you think Blackwood should get some more games than he currently is. Actually, I want to check the uh, NHL just to see what the NHL stats are looking like for the league leaders. So we got McDavid. Holy crap. 54 points in 39 games. A lot of plays over point per game. All I did was put shot selection high and it's on medium scoring. Quinn uses over point per game. Holy smoke. Let's see. Uh, let's just see rookie schemes. Lafreniere, 35 points in 30 games. Hey, Glenn Cotton, I actually know this. Too. 15 points in 40 games. That's that's cool. It's always neat seeing uh, players that you know of in real life and games. So let me know what you guys think we should do for the next episode. We're currently third in the Metro. It's a little cluster. Like We only have a 5-point lead on the Flyers and then 8 points and 9 points on Penguins and Hurricanes. So I'm not going to lie, we're actually doing better than I thought we would. And the only real additions we did were Cahoon and then third look, third pair of defense and that. So I just want to see if Gusev wants to sign an extension now. So it'll go all expiring. So Mary, Palmieri, Gusev, Brat want an extension. What does Palms want? I like Palms, he's real solid. 4.7. He's currently at 4.6, I think. So. We'll see if he wants to make the same. It's only 50k. Uh, Gusev. Six years, 4.35. If you want that, I'll gladly take you on that. Uh, Jesper Bratt. I'll give you two years, 1.7. Why not? Third liner. Solid. And Ryan Murray, how much do you want? 4.5 for five years. It's like, that's not bad. That puts him to 32. 
He's an 84. He's definitely defensive. Let me know. Like, because that's 100k cheaper than what he's currently at, right? Yeah, 4.5. For a top 4 demon, that doesn't seem too bad. We'll offer it. Why not? Uh, goalies. Let's see. Blackwood. This is going to be tricky. 4.4 for one year. And then, yeah, so he's definitely going to take a jump. So we'll go two years. Uh, let's see, three years, five point two. Will you do that? Because then, if he if he accepts that, then we're gonna have to do something with Crawford. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh. How you like the episode? Anything I can improve on? I'm still getting used to doing these YouTube videos. It's it's different talking to yourself, playing the game, but it's what it is. Uh, is there anyone that we should trade after? I was I was looking. I don't know. I have a few players in mind that we can maybe trade after. One of them would be interesting because we have a sibling in the the system, so. That'd be kind of cool to get the brothers in the, on the team. So comment, like, subscribe, and don't forget to check out the links in the description. Come check out and hang out in my Discord. Hopefully we can get that going. And I plan on streaming soon again. I've got stream stuff set up, so just got to get into that grind as well. But again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.